Greetings! So I have something a little bit different today. I have my first order from Colourpop, which is a brand of makeup company that a lot of people have been raving about. Um, and, and I can see why after the prices. Everything over there is $5 except for their new highlighters. Um, and people are just absolutely swooning over the coloration and the pigmentation of everything. So I wanted to give it a go, and I wanted to share my findings and explorations with you guys. Now, you might be thinking to yourselves, why is there a makeup thing on this channel? Well, the easy answer to that question is, I have a wide variety of interests, and I made this channel in order to share those interests with other people, and to have other people share their interests with me. So, makeup is one of the things that I'm very interested in, and depending on what you guys feel about it, I might post more, I might not. Um, I have a little bit of a gothic alternative style, so just to kind of... I don't know if you guys want to see that or not. I don't know. Anyway, let's move on to the actual interesting part and see all the shiny colors. So, it came in a very nice, lovely box. And a very, very bright purple interior, which is kind of cool. And it's got color pop on the inside of the box with a lot of this squishy, foamy stuff. And packaging. Which is very tightly packaged. Ooh. I got a bunch of shadows and they're lippy sticks. They have a lot of unusual colors. Cruelty free, made in the city of angels. Okay, so I'm going to start with the eyeshadows. I got this lovely golden color, which the name is not on the boxes, which is kind of interesting, so I have to open it up to figure out what colors, because I don't remember what about. There we go. Get lucky! I have seen this swatched. It looks freaking amazing! Lovely gold. I pass golds off really, really nicely, and it's kind of surprising, so let's... Ooh! That is a very soft formula. Ooh, look at that! Oh my god! Well, that's awesome. Holy crap! Wrap. Let's watch that on my wrist. Ooh. This is very sheer and lots of shimmer. Look at how gorgeous that is. Holy crap. I like that. Then I have this matte white, which I got as kind of a base coat color. I think this one bites. Yes, bites, which I have no idea why. It's, yeah, so very soft matte white. It is so soft, like these colors, this, wow. No, the color payout on this one isn't as strong, but I'm not brushing very hard because I don't want to mess up too much of it. But it's a very nice white. Okay, this one, which I think is lace, it's a very lovely bright purple. Royal purple. Woo, which actually is showing more blue on the camera, but look at how sparkly that is. Ooh, it comes off very nicely. Let's watch that. Definitely more shimmer and pretty sheer, but let's try. Definitely buildable. I like that. It's very sparkly. I can see that like over a black or something being all sparkly and glittery and stuff. That one is very pigmented and it's very kind of difficult to come off. This bright... Whoa. That is a lot brighter than I thought it was going to be on the picture of the freaking camera. On the website. Holy crap, that is bright and metallic-y and I am in love with this. Holy crap. This is like... I can't even... Shimmery, pink, I love it. Let's try that out on some Wah! That is pretty sheer as well. Ibiza. I think I faked that name. Oh. But, it's a mermaid blue. Very bright. These things are so soft, I can't get over how soft the texture of these things are. 
Let's see, I have the silver one, which I think is supposed to be Liberty. And this one has, like, the intensity of Get Lucky as well. Just in silver form, as far as I know. I just have these peppery things all over them. Bright, super silver. Very shiny. Yep. Ooh! I am loving that silver. Holy crap, that's beautiful! Oh my goodness. I freaking love it. And I got it all over me. I kind of look like a Tin Man. So, one recommendation. Do not use your fingers to apply this stuff. It's really kind of hard to get them off. Which is what I'm noticing. So, always use a brush and clean your brushes between uses, I guess. Jeez. Okay, then there's this bright green. Call it Fizz. I don't know why. Right, super electric green. This one's a little different, doesn't come off as easily. Woo, that's pretty sheer. Try a little harder with that one. Yeah, that one is definitely going to need a base if you want anything under it. It shows a lot brighter on camera than it does in person, but it's full of glittery goodness. Let's see, we have Erotic. I remember that one, which is a bright, super red. Okay. Fuzz. It has like a little bit of an orangey undertone to it, but... Ooh! That was also pretty sheer. Like that. Not bad, definitely buildable. Pretty electric colored. I kind of bought that one to be a red base, but it looks like I might have to do something else for that. And the last one should be coconut, which is a dark... Ooh! That is a gorgeous freaking color. Ooh, look at how deep and blue that is. That is pretty. That's what it comes out as. That's pretty shimmery. It's still a little bit sheer, so it probably needs a little bit of layering on it. Ooh, I'm liking that. I think out of these, definitely Liberty, Get Lucky, and Coconut are my favorites. Uh, what about you guys? Let me know in the comments down below if you like them. And on to the lippy sticks. They have a lot of matte colors, which is very awesome because I recently discovered that matte looks freaking amazing on me. This one is in blood. And it comes in a tube with a bunch of papery things in it that won't come out. What is this? So, that's the tube. This is, I'm guessing, ingredients. Yep, this is the ingredients list of all of their versions. Matte, satin, pearlized, glossy, hyperglossy, and cream. Good to know. So, let's look at this one. Ooh, that one's pretty nice. It's a lot darker than it looks like in the picture. I kind of bought this one because I thought it was a dupe for this NARS one that I really enjoy. Um, but it looks like it's a little darker than that, so let's try that one out. Very smooth. It's definitely a blood red. Yeah, it would probably look pretty good on me. It's hard for me to find reds that match me. Um, usually blue-based reds will work good. Uh, anything dark works really good. Anything light really just does not look good on me at all. But I'm thinking this one will be pretty good. Let's see, this one is Dahlia, which is another matte. And this one's another dark red, I know that for sure. Okay, so that is what this one, this one's more of a purpley plum. Which looks pretty cool. Let's try that one. That. I really like the formula. It's very smooth. It's still a little sheer, but it's a lot deeper than I have seen before. So I'm, I'm pretty good with these. Uh, if you use like a lip liner or something, these would be even better. 
which they incidentally sell as well. And then I have no idea how to pronounce that the French way, so I'm just going to say Lumiere, which is also a matte. This one is a dusty pink. I know that. That is another color that agrees with me. Um, always the antique colors, never the brights. Brights really, really look bad on me. <laughs> So it's a very nice match. That is the shade. Oh yes, that is like the perfect color for me when I want to go neutral. For those instances when people want to yell at you that it's not Halloween today. Well, you know what? It's Halloween every day, okay? Go trick or treat. Then Bull Chick, which is a black, because we can't have, we can't not have black in our collections. That is a very nice black. Yay, let's try that one out. That's pretty deep. It's going to need a little bit of layering and a little bit of help underneath, but it's pretty, um, it's pretty opaque, which is great. And finally, Bunny. This one I got for, you know, because it's fun. It is a deep green. It is a pearlized color. Like that. Ooh, they smell kind of nice, too. And you can kind of see there's a little bit of sparkleage going on with that. Yeah, right there. This one would definitely look good underneath a black lip liner. Ooh, a bit more sheer. But still pretty nice. I like that, and I think I could use it. Probably going to come use it with a fizz, that bright electric green that I just bought. Well, that's it for ColourPop. On a similar but unrelated note, I also bought two foundations that I wanted to try from uh, Stargazer. This one I bought at Dysfunctional Doll. I bought them in Translucent and Alabaster because I couldn't tell if Translucent actually meant sheer or if it just meant light. Um, I can't do whiteface. It looks terrible on me, so I tried to find the lightest that I can go and see how it goes from there. Um, I'm probably not going to use these again because they have parabens, and I'm trying to shy away from those. And yeah, if um, what I might end up doing is just going my own route of making my own foundations, either white or slightly pigmented, and I can let you guys know if I go anywhere on that, but yes. So this has been my ColourPop haul. Uh, have you guys tried this brand before? Let me know what you guys think of them in the comments down below. Uh, if you enjoy the makeup st side of things, let me know, and I'll be sure to do some other sort of things, whether it's not tutorials or hauls or what have you. If there is anything that I need to be trying out right now, let me know in the comments down below, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.